Hey everyone, it's Eve. I was tagged by Barry from Centralized to do this video. So I will be showing you the unique bottles that I have in my collection. It's probably not going to be the most exciting uh, compared to other people who have done this video, but there are a few bottles that I have that I think are kind of interesting. So I'll first show you two from the House of Dior because I do think that they produced really great looking bottles, at least from their older offerings. I think everyone knows this one, but this is Hypnotic Poison. I have the EDT. And the reason why I love this is because the bottle matches the name of the fragrance. So um, I think it kind of reminds me of that apple from Snow White, the poisonous one. And um, even though the name doesn't match the way that the fragrance smells, because I do think that the fragrance is like this very sweet, root beer that turns into this cookie dough with vanilla and almond. Um, I, I think the bottle design just matches the, the name and also the ad that came out with Melanie Laurent. I don't like how lightweight the cap is, but I do appreciate the attention to detail with the wrinkled design and the nozzle. They have this on all their fragrances, I believe. It has the uh, initials of the house. And uh, it looks like it's an opaque bottle, but if you shine it under light, you can definitely tell how much juice you have left. So I appreciate that. Um, but yeah, I think it's a lovely design. I've mentioned the next one quite a few times before, so I don't want to spend too much time on it. But this is the Le Parfum Flanker from Miss Gio. And the thing I love about it is the houndstooth design all over the glass. Very nice attention to detail. I love the bow on the front. I just think that the look of the bottle really matches the womanly um, smell of the, the juice. Next, I have the replica line from Maison Margiela. And even though the bottles look minimal in their design, I do think that they're quite unique because the labels are cloth. And it actually reminds me of the tags that you see on their clothing from this house. So I have lipstick on, my husband has at the Barber's, although I do wear this sometimes. And I do appreciate that they put the name of the place and the time that has inspired the fragrance. So at the Barber's is, the, the place that reminds them of is Madrid in 1992. Although the music nerd in me kind of wishes it said Seville instead, but that's not the point. Um, this one is, based on Chicago in the 1950s. So yeah, I, I also think that the names of the, the scents match the way that they smell too. A designer house that's really well known for their distinct bottle designs, I think, is Mugler. And I only have Angel Muse, but I do like how the original Angel looks like, and also Alien. Um, but this reminds me of something from a sci-fi film. It specifically reminds me of that movie with Amy Adams. What is it called? It's the one where she talks to aliens and it's all about language and communication. Arrival. It's called Arrival. So yeah, it reminds me of that. And um, I love that it's metal, but it also has the glass to help you see the juice. And I love the star here too. So it's quite nice. Next one is from my husband's collection. This is Tom Ford, Black Orchid, or as Brian says, it's the best type of BO. Uh, I love the Art Deco inspired style of this. The glass, if you haven't felt it before, is textured. The golden plaque on the front is nice. You only get that on the EDP. The EDT, I think, has a different color. And the gold tie on the top is quite nice too. And I just think it looks lovely on a dresser, even though, um, we put our bottles away from light, but if you're the type of person who likes to display your bottles, this is a great one to include in your collection. Okay, let's get into some of my niche ones. So first is from Gisita. So the bottles themselves are minimal in the way that they look. It's just a square bottle with rounded edges, but something I get excited about is a weighty cap. The caps are super heavy and I love that. And I also love the attention to detail with the engraving of the house name on the side. And then on the top, you see the logo. And it just feels like luxury when you hold these glasses. 
or these bottles and i love the the colors of their juices too so the dessert de siam is a nice pastel pink color and le pavillon d'or is obviously a golden color because this name means the golden pavilion they do have one called splendiris which is this gorgeous purple color so i really appreciate the thought that goes into the way that the juice and the bottles look like okay next is zerjoff and um, I'll be honest, the first time I saw Zerjoff bottles on YouTube, I did not like how they looked. I thought they looked really gaudy, but it wasn't until I saw a bottle up close and held the bottle in my hand when I realized how luxurious they look and feel. So I have Neo from the Shooting Stars collection. They etched the name of the fragrance on the front, which is a very subtle but nice detail. I love the gold plaque on the front. And again, the cap is super heavy. You probably figured out by now how much I love that. The name of the brand is engraved on the side. And I just think that the heavy cap looks perfect with the bottle. So those are my bottles for my collection that I think are unique. Thank you again, Barry, for tagging me. I really appreciate it. I will link his channel so that you can check him out. He does great content and he also supports YouTubers, like new YouTubers, so I really appreciate that. And I want to make sure to tag a couple of people. First, Bryce, Brygro, I want to see you do this video. I know he has a great, huge collection, and I think it'd be interesting to see what he would pick for this topic. Um, I do warn you though, if you haven't seen his videos, you have to book a whole day because he's a man of many words, and um, it will take some time to sit through one video. Uh, next, I do want to tag Cherie, the beautiful and lovely Cherie uh, from the top note. She has a wonderful collection, so I'm sure there are some interesting bottles that she would pick for this. Um, I want to tag two more. Uh, next, Amoy Puranyan. He's based in the Philippines. He has some videos in Tagalog, but most of his videos are in English too. And he does a great job describing scents. And I love that he focuses on niche and designer fragrances. And then lastly, Andreas Cerberus. I'd love to see you do this video. I know you have some unique bottles in your collection too. So consider you guys tag. Uh, even if you weren't mentioned in this video, I'd love to see you do this video too. And um, before I go, I do want to remind you all to help flatten the curve. If you don't need to go outside of your house, please, please stay home. We have to do everything we can to work together to fight this virus. If you do go out, please wear a mask. Don't be selfish. And, you know, please consider those that are vulnerable to catching this disease. We have to do better and we have to work together. So I just wanted to give you that quick reminder. Um, so yeah, I will sign off now and I will see you next time.